Well, hello, Internet. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a forum or a social network inside of WordPress and a ton of other things. I'm going to show you how to set it up so that people can log in using their Facebook IDs, how to allow them to share pretty much any type of content, and a whole bunch more. First thing I'm going to do, I'm using GoDaddy for this because this is who I use, but you can do this pretty much with any hosting company. This is the standard way that you would go and have WordPress automatically installed on your site. Inside of GoDaddy, I'm going to click on Account, and then I'm going to click on Hosting over on the left side of the screen right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to open a page on the screen that looks like this. You're going to find whichever site you want to install WordPress on. And then you want to come over here to launch and click on that button. Then you're going to see a page that looks like this. What you're going to do is in this situation, click on applications in the upper right hand corner. Then for GoDaddy, you're going to click on WordPress right here. It's going to open up a page that looks like this. And you're going to come down here and click on install now. Then you're going to find whichever domain you want to install WordPress on and put a little tick in the radio button. And if you can't see this, you can watch this full screen because it's a high definition video. And this is the important part and something that people mess up all the time. You want to define where or what directory you want WordPress installed in and make sure it's not in the one where you currently have a WordPress site or it's going to overwrite it. And I just put a directory in here called forum and then I'm going to click on next. Then here you're going to find your admin name. You're going to give yourself a password. You're going to type in your email address and the name that you're going to use for your WordPress site. In this situation, it's new think tank forum and then hit finish. And then you're going to be presented that the WordPress installation has been submitted and then you have to wait a little bit. It normally takes about 10 minutes and then WordPress will be installed. And whenever you go to the installation area where you have put WordPress in, you're going to have to define your site name, type in your username and your password and your email address and hit install WordPress. And that is it. Once you do that, WordPress will be 100% installed. And now I'm going to show you how to install a plugin called BuddyPress. And this is version 1.5. So this is the newest, newest, newest version of BuddyPress. And it's real simple. Zoom in here. Make sure you can see what I got here. And I want to come down to plugins and click on add new. And you're just going to type in BuddyPress. Search plugins. All right. There's BuddyPress. And click on install now. So simple. Hit OK. And it's going to download everything, unpack it for you, and then install it. And then start using it. You're just going to have to click on activate plugin. And BuddyPress is all set up there. And now down in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see BuddyPress listed. You want to click on that guy. And now you have to go through the whole installation process, which is pretty much hit and save and next over and over and over again. We're going to keep everything here exactly the same and hit save and next. I'm in through here. You don't need to do anything else. So we're just going to hit save and next on pages. Permalinks. In this situation, I am going to come in here and switch it to month and name. So it's a little bit more friendly in regards to search engines and hit save and next. Theme, I'm going to use the BuddyPress default. I'm not going to change that and hit save and next. And that is it. And I'm going to hit finish and activate. Now we have all that set up inside of here. Then I'm going to come over here and hit forums. And this is a brand new feature here. This is site-wide forums. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. You just come in here and hit install site-wide forums. It's, it's super, super simple. And then hit install now. Boom. Hit activate plugin. All right, so that's now all set up. So let's go over here and take a look at it. And you can actually look at this. It's at newthinktank.com forward slash forum. So here's just the beginnings of the whole entire site. It doesn't look all that fancy. There's actually nothing on it because this is a brand new uh, installation. So there's really no members. There's no nothing. And there's no reason to be. Actually, if there was a member on there, I'd be a little bit frightened. So we're just going to jump back inside up here. And I'm going to set it up so people can actually log in. So I'm going to come down to settings inside of WordPress. And I'm going to come down to general, click on that. And then I'm going to set it up so that anyone can register and I'm going to leave them as subscribers. No more power than that. And I'm going to hit save changes. Now people are actually going to be able to register and sign up to become members of your site, which is a nice thing. And this is the normal way of setting this stuff up. So that's why I'm doing it the way I am. And I'm just going to call this news. I'm just going to hit publish. That's all I needed to do. Now I'm going to come down here again to settings and I'm going to come under reading and click on that. And here I'm going to say that I want to set my static page and my front page is going to be activity and my post page is going to be news which I just created and I'm going to hit save changes Okay, so now I'm going to go over exactly what you can do in regards to profile fields inside of this little forum we have inside of WordPress. 
So if you click on body press in your left sidebar and then click on profile fields, you can define certain things that are going to be required for the person to enter if they want to sign up to use your forum. By default, they're required to enter their name. And of course, you could change this. And also by hitting add new fields, you could require them to enter some other information. So let's say country, for example. Country you live in. All right. And then you say, is this field required? Field type, text box. I'm just going to leave it that way and hit save. So now if we jump out to actually look at our forum, you're going to see right here, if I log out, what somebody's going to see whenever they come to your page and they are currently not a member, they're going to have to click on create an account over here on the right sidebar and then create a username, type in email address and create a password as well as name and country because that's the way I defined it. And if they do that, then everything will be set up. But what would be kind of neat also is you could set this guy up so that it works if the person is using their WordPress account, for example, or their Facebook account. I'll log back into this guy. All right, and how we're going to do that is I'm going to come over to Appearance. I'm going to go over to Widgets. And let's say we want to give them the option to log in with their WordPress account if they already have that. It's real simple. I'm going to grab text, arbitrary text, and HTML, or HTML. And we want to create, register with WordPress account. Let's just call it that. Register for this forum using WordPress. Let's say that, for example. And then we'll put an option inside of here that they can go over to WordPress.com and retrieve their maybe lost login information or what have you. Just go to HTTP www.wordpress.org forward slash support forward slash register.php. So then if they click on that, what that's going to allow them to do is log into their WordPress account or create an account or do whatever you want. So that's kind of neat, nice option to have. And there's all kinds of other different things you can drag over here in regards to widgets. I'm going to close that. And if you'd like them to be able to log in using their Facebook account, well, you're going to have to go get yourself a plugin. So go into plugins and click installed plugins or add new and then type in wp-fb- Auto connect. Here it is. I'm just click install now and hit OK. And it's installed, so hit activate. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to set up this whole entire thing using Facebook. It's real simple, don't worry about it. But we'll come down here to where we just created this WPFB auto connect and go to settings. Then, what you're going to want to do, and there's directions right here, but I'm going to show you how to do this because it's so, so, so simple. If you go to developers.facebook.com and if you click here or you click on apps and you do not have an account with this page, page, the de Facebook developers page, it's going to ask you if it's okay to connect those two things with Facebook. Just say yes, just like you do all the other times. And then whenever you click on apps right here, you're going to come to a page. You're probably not going to have anything on the left sidebar unless you already are a member of Facebook developers. But then you want to click on create a new app. And whenever you do that, you're going to see a page that looks pretty much like this. And then you're going to want to give your app a name, as you see right here. So I just called this new Just In Forum. And then you have to put your email address in. Then you have to put the domain that you're going to be hosting this app on. And then you have to say the exact location for where this guy's going to be. Well, quite simply, I just jump over here and type in that app ID as well as my app secret ID. And now you're going to see login with Facebook is now an option just after doing that little bit. So somebody's going to be able to come to your forum, even if they don't have any login in credentials and hit login with Facebook. And just that easily, you can allow them to be a member on your forum without them having to give you any private information at all. So that's also really, really cool. I'm going to log back in. And I'm going to do one really more cool thing here. I'm going to show you another plugin that's going to allow you to enter really cool information inside of BuddyPress. So we're going to go to Plugins, Add New, again, and just go inside of here and go O, oh, Embed for BuddyPress. Hit Search Plugins, Install Now, hit OK, Activate Plugin, and that guy set up and what's cool about that is if I go back to my forum again and let's say for example I wanted to take this video that I hadn't previously made on YouTube and I wanted it to display inside of here so people could see it and do whatever they want with it now since I just put that plugin in there if I paste this link inside of here and hit post update it's automatically going to put that video right in there for other people to watch and then, of course, there's a forum area for the website. There's groups. You can set up groups. You can see all the members on your forum. If you, Like I said, if you want to play around with this thing, it's newthinktank.com forward slash forum. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it up, but what the heck, you can go over there and see if it's there. And you can become a member and play around with it and do whatever you want with it. It doesn't cost anything, of course. So that is how you set up a forum slash social network with a whole bunch of really cool tools inside of WordPress. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.